Right, let's get this stuff ready. Get the show on the road. Got them in easy enough. Right, time to get the rods out and have a feel around. By the way, it is uh, quarter to eight. Lovely sunny morning, but bloody cold. While leading around, I came across a lot of weed for this time of year. No. Hit loads of weed there. clear spot um, probably done about seven or eight casts it's just weed everywhere but yeah I've eventually found one let's get this beauty out 9.75 wraps I'm lined up with that at, um, what did I say it was? 8.2 wraps on my left rod over there, and my right rod is a dip in the trees just there. See that dip in the trees there? And I'm 9.75 out of there. Both clear spots, both fairly deep. I can't be exact about it, but between 11 and, and sort of 13 feet there on both rods so happy with that um, ideally I would have liked to go gone towards the middle more um, at about 15 16 wraps maybe maybe a little bit more than that actually because uh, I've got a feeling in the cold weather that's where they're going to be holed up but uh, not to worry okay this is my solid bag rig on this water this is the avid long stem that pushes straight through the lead. Um, it's got a little flexi swivel. Let me take this out. Okay, so this is six inches of supple 20 pound braid. Uh, I got this off eBay. I don't really get caught up too much with brands for a lot of my gear. Uh, a lot of my end gear should I say unless you know something really stands out in terms of quality I always used to do my rigs at around four inches when I first started using bags but um, I was losing way too many fish um, I then increased the length to around six inches which made a massive difference believe it or not this is a 14mm dumbbell wafter with a size at 8 curved shank. I like using these bait screws with an extra ring which gives it a little bit more movement. And you can see I'm using it in conjunction with a hook bead. So, nice and simple. feel so good to be out this is my first proper winter session this year I think I mentioned it earlier it's the 25th of November today which is a Saturday um, it's the first freeze we've had this year or certainly yeah it is actually yeah it's the first freeze it was minus two in the night proper crispy frozen grass this morning it's beautiful really nice lovely sunny morning it's my first time 
back on here for around six, maybe seven weeks. Last time I came, actually, all the trees were, were green, and now they're all, um, well, most of them bare. Some have got lovely rustic coloured leaves on, but it's just beautiful. Um, but yeah, I need to tell you, I've had some absolute stinkers on here. I've had seven blanks on the bounce, which has um, taken its toll, to be honest, um, because I had a, a four-nighter in, in with that, which, um, yeah, that was a bit deflating, to be perfectly honest. But, uh, but yeah, seven on the bounce. And do you know what? I think I'll probably blank today as well. Um, simply because first freeze of the year um, but yeah it's it's just good to be out there absolutely loving it there is eight of us on myself three directly in front of me about uh, 120 yards ish away from me couple over to my left and two to my left uh, sorry a couple over on the far bank there and two to my left so uh, yeah it's beautiful and lovely winter's day but I think it's gonna be hard going <laughs> gotta be in it to win it and all that malarkey eh? Well guys, it's gone bitterly cold. I've just um, zipped the front up on my shelter. Um, just left this, this is a mozzy mesh here. Um, Cause the reason I zipped it up is there's a really cold wind blowing in. Um, it's quite icy actually. But just zipping that front up has really helped. Um, I know you shouldn't do this, but I just put my, uh, my gas burner on just for a couple of minutes to, to boil the kettle um, but yeah you do have to be careful because of the carbon monoxide but um, doing that has well, truly really heated this little shelter up actually so it's quite good um, but yeah it's absolutely taters absolutely taters but you know if you're ever cold and you boil the kettle don't let it go to waste. Um, cover your kettle in a cloth or tea towel in this instance and just sit on it or put it between your legs and you'll be amazed how quick that warms you up. But back to the fishing, yeah, it's uh, nothing happening, but obviously that was to be expected. Um, but I tell you what, as well, today I haven't seen any fish at all um, and that is the first time that's ever happened here I always see fish moving or showing themselves popping out the water or making a splash shorts you know so on and so forth but yeah nothing today nothing at all and I'm guessing that that frost last night has got a lot to do with it Hey ho, still enjoying it. It's just a beautiful day.